Hi, and thanks for coming to Search Engine Watch. I'm Mike Zima, an SEO expert from Mallorca, Spain. If you want to learn more about me, click here. Otherwise, stay tuned, and I'm going to show you how to use Google Search Console for your business in 2019. So if you have a website and you want to know how it's doing on Google, Google Search Console is going to be the best tool in your arsenal. They recently updated the tool last year in 2018, and I'm just going to go through a couple of the most important features here and how to utilize it today. So there's a lot of great things you can garner from your web pages and how they're performing. And it's really important that you can glean on these details and work from a position of knowing and finally sleep at night uh, so you don't have to worry about what your site is doing in Google and you can go in here and inspect a lot of things. So I'm going to come over to the overview page. If you log into your profile, you're going to have this overview page that will tell you the last 90 days of performance any issues with your web pages, which will go into the coverage report, and also any enhancements. And a big one is your mobile usability and also accelerated mobile pages. So first with a coverage report, this report is very interesting because it is going to show any sort of conflicts you have with individual web pages, pages that may have warnings, pages that are all valid in indexing, and also pages that are excluded from this uh, report and you can see the difference if you want to exclude pages and de-index them for instance you can keep track of those as well in this case we fixed all the errors here so there's no errors but i can look at all the valid different pages so when you actually dive into some of these details it will bring up the pages so whether they're valid or their warnings or their er error pages it's going to give you a list of very useful information here so i can go into this page I can see when it was last crawled. I can inspect the URL. So Google is going to inspect it and let me know how it's performing in search. So it's gonna give me a nice breakdown here about the URL. You can also take this URL and put it into the search bar and it will give you some more details there on the URL inspection tool here. So you can see uh, it's gonna give me a breakdown of what's happening, some of the details here, uh, and also it's going to speak to your mobile pages. And when you go back, it's also going to talk about the AMP pages and an AMP warning. So next, I'm going to go into your AMP page report. This is a very big one. AMP was created by Google, and it's the framework you want your website to utilize in order to capture more of the mobile traffic that's coming. We're looking at about 50% of traffic is being ranked by the new mobile first index. So having a fast and snappy website is very important. So you can see a couple of these errors and warnings and it's particularly difficult to do this on WordPress, but nonetheless, we're troubleshooting and monitoring these errors. And you can see that you have a breakdown and you can go through the different uh, versions and errors that are happening. And it's gonna give you nice uh, look throughs and previews and it can get really geeky really fast, but it's a good tool to have in order to have uh, the resources to delegate to your developers to fix it. So this is going to give you a lot of great insights. And once you can fix all of these issues, your site is going to be ranking quicker. So next and the most important one, which you'll probably be using all the time is the performance report. So there's a couple things to talk about with the performance report. One, it's broken up into three tabs. You have your navigational tab here with your filters. You can do it by queries, pages, country, device, and also different search appearance. So this is how the search result is appearing to certain keywords you may be ranking for. You have your timeline of performance and you can turn all of these on and off. Clicks and impressions will be a default. You can go in and do lookbacks and comparisons. So you can see that the range is very large now. Having 16 months of data will give you a lot of insights. If I just go back, to a full 12 months. We can have the whole ricochet. We can see any kind of algorithmic updates and go from there to troubleshoot it. So let's just look at the last 28 days because we want to optimize our site. So we can see over thousands and thousands of keywords, what they're ranking for in impressions. So I want to be a little bit more critical. I'm interested in people in the US. So let's segment this down. So I only have the clicks and impressions of people from the USA. Then I can go into pages. And this is how you can start utilizing the tool. You need to create the filters and the comparisons in order to understand what's happening. 
So this is a breakdown of total clicks coming to your website. And we have over 300 pages in this example. You can also sort it by impressions. You can go in here and turn on average click-through rate and average position. And I can see what the average position for my pages are. So it gives me a nice rundown of details. You can actually go in and filter some of these rows, which is a great addition if you want to exclude anything that's not receiving any sort of traffic. So let's go ahead and do something that uh, is, is greater than one impression. So that's important. So I added one filter that eliminated about 60. So I have a clean list here. So I've eliminated all the pages that have uh, no less than one impression. Uh, so I can go in and I can export the data either into Google Sheets or a CVS file if I want to manipulate it on my own. So this is a good way to prepare the data, but how would you utilize it to optimize? So there's a couple ways. One, you can look at the optimizations based off of clicks. This is important because if you're getting a lot of clicks, uh, you want to go in there and see what keywords you're ranking for and start nurturing those opportunities. An alternative is if you aren't ranking for a lot, but you're getting impressions and interest, maybe this particular article here, Dumbbell Floor Press Benefits. It's getting a lot of impressions. It has a pretty good position in the USA, but there's no clicks. Maybe that's something I haven't touched in a while. Let's go visit it. So you can drill into this you can see here and preview it, and you can inspect the URL back in the inspector tool up here. But this is going to give me those insights. So when you flip over to the countries, we're already filtered to the US, so we're only getting details here. We're also going to get some details on analytics. If there's any search appearance data, there's no clicks, so there's no data. But then we go into this report. We have the queries. We have 36 keywords that this web page is ranking for. So this is interesting. I can go back in here. I can export this to Google Sheets again, review the data, review how well these keywords are ranking for in Google, and then I can go back into my web page and start optimizing them. And essentially, this is the most competitive edge that you can have for your website is by reviewing what pages you're ranking for and understanding the keywords you're ranking for and applying this into your web pages. And you can go back here into the top menu, flip it off, flip it off. I can go back into my pages. Let's say I want to attract international uh, interest. So let's go after like one of my best pages here. So do it DIY cool scalping. It's getting a lot of impressions, but not enough clicks. So the click-through rate is at a 0.2%, but we're already seeing that we're ranking for 139 keywords. We know what the needle movers are. We know what the trends and the trends in these keywords are that Google sees as the opportunities. And I want to make sure that this article is covering these subjects. If it's not, I can go in and either rework the article to cover the subjects that may be mentioned in the keyword summary report, or I can use this as a branch to splinter off into something that's a bit more specific because you don't want to have too much overlap in your content because your content has to be very uh, evergreen and self-explanatory for that particular subject. So if there's some overlap, you may perform better for other keywords and, and less than others. So this shows you an opportunity. If you're ranking for 139 keywords, more likely than not, there are other opportunities in there that you'll have to review. So this is a quick rundown on how to use Google Search Console and leverage that data to improve the performance on your site.